your foundation stand. Yeah, you got somebody on the other side. Look at him and say, neighbor, will your foundation stand? Oh my God, if you really want to mess with him, say, will your foundation stand during testing time? Come on, you may be seated in his house. Amen, amen. Will your foundation stand? How many of the times and the days that we're living in in our present world? How many realize these are the times that try men's soul? Uh, many people are going through many difficulties and different things. Yeah. Seem like it's one thing after another thing, but how many realize, but how many know you're still going on? Yeah. Oh my my, we have little cute uh, na narratives and, and attributes and stuff. We say, hey, I don't look like what I've been through. But sometimes we look just like what we're in. They got to look inside. You know, we look just like, yeah, you girl, you look like you've been through some stuff. Come on now. You know, look, you know the thing with it is, though, but how many know what is your duration? It's endurance. How many know endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ? How many know this is the process of time? In order to get to where you want to be, you got to go through a series of tests. Yeah. And how many realize, but your feet got to be stable. You have to have a solid foundation. My, 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 my. How many know it's foolish to build something when you haven't counted up the cost? Oh, my, my, my. It's foolish to build on something that will hold your weight up. Oh, my, my. What are you standing on? That's a good way to look at somebody today. Say, David, what you standing on? Oh, my, my, my. But how many realize, when, as we talk today, will your foundation stand? My, my. As we get to look at it, oh, my God, he starts this chapter, you know, when the word therefore is, is the first part of the sentence. It let me know, the adjective let me know that it, it means for this reason. Yeah. Uh, for what reason? I, I, thank you for asking. I have to go back to verse 21. Well, he says, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But they that do is the will of the Father, which is in heaven. Yeah. Oh, God. So he said, why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things I say? Yeah. Oh, my God. And here, so that's a root cause analysis to the thing that for. Oh, my, my. Yeah. As we begin to dive in here, he tells me, not everyone professing Christ is genuinely saved. Yeah. There's a whole lot of people used to church, but they never met God. Yeah. There ain't no final heaven here. As we begin, even the outward and verbal acknowledgments of his lordship is in itself not enough to save the unbeliever apart from true repentance of faith. Yeah. You can quote the Lord's prayer in a, in a repentance prayer. Thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, believing in thy heart that God is raised from the dead. How many of you can quote it all you want to? Yeah. But if it ain't been an inside thing, you're still unsaved. Yeah. Ah, you're fine, you're fine. Yeah. So a genuinely saved person is one that does the will of the, my Father. The Greek tense suggests that he is continually living in obedience to the will of God as a normal course of life. Yeah. Oh my, my, my. Living for the Lord is just like breathing. Because yeah. he is my breath and in him I move and have my being. Oh, and they're talking here. He goes on to tell me here. He said, Jesus empathetically talked that carry out the will of his heavenly father was conditioned of entering into his kingdom. Yeah. Can I teach it here? Yeah. However, this does not mean that we can gain or merit salvation. Salvation is by the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. For it's by grace that we're saved through faith. Yeah. That's nothing that you've done. None of us deserve the favor that we have. Yeah. But thank God for brother grace. God, you hear all you deep folk. Thank God for grace. Yeah. For the Bible said, for the wages of sin is death. Yeah. And every time we sin, we should be cut off. Yeah. But thank God for grace. Yeah. Oh, that was a high five moment that time. Thank God for grace. Yeah. Oh my God. How many know they say God is a God of another chance? Oh my God, multiplicity of chances. Yeah. Won't he do it for you? Yeah. So he tells me here, Oh, my, 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 my. You can't earn it. You can't work to get salvation. This is a true for the following reason. God forgiveness come through faith. And repentance made possible by the grace of the sacrificial death of Jesus on the cross. He was the only one that was able to bring us in right relationship with God. The second piece is the obedience to the will of God demands by Christ 
is indeed our ongoing conditional salvation. My, my, my. But Christ also declared that it is our grace belonging to salvation of the kingdom. As such, we must continually pray for him. Oh, I mean, if we wake up every morning with new grace, new mercies. Oh, my, my, my. Thank God for God being God he is. I'm standing on the promises of who God is. Can I teach in here? My God in here. Not everyone is crying out. Oh my God is saved. Everybody go to church. Oh my God have been blood washed. Woo! You got to watch. Oh my, 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 my. You got to watch the thing that's happening. Oh my God, I teach it here, Pastor. As I begin to dive into it, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, we have prophesied in your name. In thy name have we cast out devils. In thy name have we done many wonderful works. Oh, my mind caught in here. But he's still going to tell you, I don't know you. Oh, my God, because you worked in iniquity. So Jesus empathetically states that there will be many in the church who will minister in his name and believe that they are his servants. And yet, in reality, he does not even know them. Woo! They got fired a long time ago. Yeah. Oh my God, in here waiting to get the paycheck. And remember that you got unforgiveness in your heart. Yeah. You remember when you told Sister Sally off? Oh, you never went back and repent to her. So, Lord, I've been working in the church. I've been a missionary. I've been these things. I was a pastor. I was a superintendent. I was a bishop. He said, Yeah, but what you were doing in the iniquity. I don't even know you. Oh my God in here. Ask your neighbor, will your foundation stand? Is God pleased with the stuff that you're doing? Oh my, my, my. How many realize that hay, stubble, and wool burns up? Oh my God, you have to stand on the real thing. So he tells me, church who ministered in his name, believe that they are certain. He does not know them. To escape the deceit of the last days, church leaders or any disciple must be totally committed yes, to the truth and the righteousness revealed in God's word. Yes. Oh my, yes we do. Oh my God. And not consider ministerial success. Mm. Woo! As to give you a right hand to go into the kingdom of God. Yes. You think you are right because you got a big membership. Because right. right. you're on the TV. Because you got many followers. Right. Oh God. Uh, he ministers success standards by which shows their relationship with Christ. But the Bible says, oh my God, man's life is not consistent of the abundance of such things which he possess. You think because you big baller now, because you got a hundred and thousand of folks following you, that that's going to get you to heaven. But not so. But he said, if you haven't been blood washed, you're working in iniquity. Uh, teaching here past that. The Bible tells me, he says, Verse 23, I'm just reading right along. 23 tells me what? And when I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that worketh iniquity. This word, these words of Christ make it unmistakably clear that preachers may proclaim the gospel in the name of Christ. Try my demons and perform miracles while themselves have no genuine saving faith in Christ. Oh my God, here it's the name that they're preaching under. Oh my God, it's not your name. Oh God, I'm out of here. How I many it was all about Jesus? What will I tell Jesus? Oh God, I'm out of here with the charge that God has put on your life. Oh, can I teach it here? Yeah, how I many know it's shaking time? Yes, it is. He said, I never knew you. The Bible tells me we're waiting on everybody to give us. Clarity and understanding of what time that we're living in. Yeah. How many know this is the time to try men's soul? How many know we have a global pandemic that nobody can grab hold to? Yeah. The uncertainty of times. How many realize that death is prevalent in our land? Yeah. How many realize that men are dying of heart failure? Yeah. Oh, God. How many realize because of the love of many has wax cold yeah. and iniquity is abounding? Genuine love and concern for your neighbor. Yeah. Neighbor can lay in the house and be dead for months and nobody ever called them a check on. Yeah. 
We're living in a time, I remember the days when they used to pour sugar. Woo! They used to concern about one another. How many realize we're living in a time because love has gone cold? Not committed to church, not committed, we're committed to everything but church. We have to get our calendars out and try to find a time that we can practice our own kids. What the devil has snuck in on your own Making every child think they're going to be the next greatest athlete. There you find a weapon here. And how many know what they're missing out on the foundation? Oh, how many realize they don't need no briefcase already and a, a sports agent? How many know they ain't but 10 years old? Let them grow up. They grow up, this generation is growing up without church. Don't even know about Sunday school. Don't know about purity. They don't know about none of those sheep, mother. Because why? They losing the foundation. Now we're growing up people. Oh God. Don't know nothing about God. When you break the leg, you won't be able to play the sport. But how many know with God, you can have everything. You can have the grief that come on the wall. But if you ain't got Jesus, you still ain't got nothing. We pray, we raising up schizophrenic folks. Our children are schizophrenic. Woo! One minute they say this, another minute they say that. We got schizophrenic 40 year olds. Oh my God, don't know where they're going or coming. One time they said, I'm on the Lord's side, I'm going to praise Him. The next time they won't even come to church and I'm going to go sit here and zoom in. But I saw about to ask you the question this morning. Will your foundation stay? Yeah, my God in here. Can you run with the horses? Woo! Woo! We ain't have our day with the horse and the footman. Oh my God, you can't handle the footman. What will you do when the horsemen get here? Hey, you gonna find no help in here. What will you do when trouble really comes? Will you be able to stand? How many of the Bible tells me that righteousness exalted a nation but sin is a reproach to any people good God Almighty in here when we accept everything how many know we're living in a state of confusion little boys and little girls don't even know what they are they go find no help in here we, we're just passing everything we don't know what's going on how many know America was established on prayer how many know we need to pray? Yes. We got a state of confusion. Right. Anybody know who the author of confusion is? Yes. That is the devil. Yes. The devil is a liar and a true thing. Yes. Oh my God, in here I heard what David wrote in the psalm. Oh my God, Psalm number 11. He asks the question. Yes. And he starts this question with the biggest word in the Bible. Yes. And that word is if. The foundation be destroyed. What can the righteous do? So I done, if the foundation is destroyed, if our children, how many know they said I can grab the children before they get to the age of five? I got it. How many know our children are growing up on church? Our children are growing up, how many God, with their own mind whether they want to go to church or not? How many know they've been led by ten? and tweaking and all these things yeah. that they're doing. Yeah. They're making videos while you're snoring in your house. Yeah. No accountability. They can do what they want to do. Yeah. How many know with the foundation oh my God, be the song. Yeah. What shall the righteous do? Yeah. Ooh, what are we going to do with this generation? Yeah. Oh God, it looks still when it looks dark. Yeah. How many know we're waiting on the president to say something? Yeah. We're waiting on Congress to say something. Right. But the challenges we face, yeah. how many know one party against another party? Right. And no party for the old people. All right. All right. How many know the foundation is pretty shaky? Yeah. Yeah. Can I talk in here? Yeah. How many know the foundation is shaky? Yeah. And what are we building on? Hey, stumble and move. Yeah. We're trying to see how we can live longer and be free. Right. We got all and we analogy. All these stuff we got going on. We got faith, live faith, no faith, but everything. We just faith, faith, faith. But how many know, baby, you're going to die with something? Jenny yeah. Craig and you're still me. Weight Watcher and you're still eating. But how many realize? 
in the inside man. Can I teach any hell? If the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? How do you know in the days of old when the people of Israel and Judah gave themselves over to wickedness, over to idolatry, over to the abomination, the glory cloud of the God that parted the temple and never returned. Yes. Look out your own and say, neighbor, neighbor, I hear an Ichabod moment. Y'all yeah. yeah, don't know what Ichabod is. Ichabod means the glory has gone. Right. The glory has left. Yes. Where is the glory? Where are the saints that cry out to the Lord? Lord, feel me. Where are the praying mamas who pray over the children? Where are the mamas that anoint their children before they send them to school? Where are the mamas who rule the house? Or the major arts of the house? And say, no, it's going to be just like this, that, and the other. How many know it's time to stop running and let these children run you right away? You holler the hot tide you are, but you had every game, every cheer camp. You all over the place. But when it comes time to the house of God, you ain't got no time for God. But I shall not tell you today, will your foundation stand sooner or later? The Lord is coming back. Say yeah. I got a teaching here. How we know the glory is gone. We're so positioned or in it. We're worried about being the next great thing. How many know that Jesus is the only thing? Oh my God in here. Men are servants and not owners. Can I teach in here? What are the righteous to do? Not what the president. Not what the Senate. Not what the house. Not what nobody else can do. Yeah. How many know the Bible said, What shall the righteous do? Yeah. If the foundation be destroyed, yeah. what we gonna do? Oh God. Yeah. What we gonna do if everything glimpses? If we stop coming to church, we stop fellowshipping in church. What shall happen to this generation? I'm gonna teach y'all in here. I got a little excited. What shall the righteous do? Yeah. When the foundation has been destroyed, we are to contend for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. Any fighters in here? They ain't got no help on that side. Any fighters in here? Let them know that I'd rather fight than switch. I'm going to hold on to God. Hallelujah. I refuse to give up my children. I refuse to give up my grandchildren. I refuse to give up on this generation. God said I can have what I said I could have. I can do what he said I can do. Say yeah. We are content for the thing which we've been taught. We have to stand up and be counted. Is there any witnesses in here? We have to hold fast. We are not taught, oh my God, not to be conformed to this world. Not let the yoke of bondage be placed upon us again. Oh God, how we know this song rebukes the counsel of flight and compromise. When biblical principles are at stake, faithful believers will take refuge and remain committed to the righteousness, even in a moral and spiritual foundation destroyed, is restored in both society and the church. Standards have been lowered. Woo! The result will be the Lord counted is to behold the upright. The question is this morning: What shall the righteous do when nobody comes to pray? You pray. When nobody come to Bible study, yeah, yeah. have it anyway. Yeah. Woo! When nobody come to see about you, see about your own self. Yeah. I ain't gonna find no help in here. Yeah. You wanna learn how to use your own Holy Ghost. Yeah. I ain't gonna act right in here. Yeah. Not what the wicked don't do. Right. It's not what the wicked don't do. Right. But it's what will the righteous do. Yeah. How many know the burning was savage? Oh my God. Not what the 
righteous. Yeah. Woo! But the wicked and him that loveth violence, he said, my soul hates. Yeah. This is God said. Yeah. In times of trouble, we must continually strive to keep our mind turned to the Lord in prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, you got to keep God on your mind. Yeah. Trust and hope in the Lord. Yeah. I have a revelation, says, if any man shall take away the words of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the holy city and from the thing which are written in the book. Yeah. As in the beginning of human history, failure to take the word of God will be absolutely serious in matter yeah. of life and death. Yeah. Yes, God, how many know now I can get to your therefore. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, it's just in time. Yeah. Oh my God. How many know test in time means proof? It's time to prove what's in there. Yeah. yeah, God. It's an act or event that reveals qualities. Yeah. What are you made of? Come on, look at y'all ain't saying that. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, what you made of? What you made of? How many know you don't know what's in the meat until you cook it? Yeah. You don't know what's in it until you what? Until you put some heat around it. Yeah. How many know this is test in time? Yeah. Yes, God. Foundation. Can I talk about a foundation? Because that ain't got happy. It's a basis on which something stands or supported. Yeah. What are you standing on? Yeah. Will your foundation stand? Yeah. Foundation are tested for quality and reliability. Oh, this is what foundation is tested for. Yeah. When we do concrete analysis, we we're trying to establish a path for a house. Oh my God, a bridge. How many know we test the, the concrete for quality? Yeah. Woo! And reliability. Yeah. The quality of being trustworthy. Yeah. Can I trust the weight to hold up? Woo! Yeah. Oh, God, I'm out of here. Yeah. I just lost my mind now. Yeah. Or performing consistently well. Right. I got the trust that I'm going to stand on it and it's going to always perform well. Yeah. I'm going through some stuff. Yes. Two foundations. One dig deep and lay the foundation on the rock. Yeah. Doing testing time. Oh, it could not be shook. Uh -huh. The other build on sand. Right. Yeah, God. My, 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 my. The problem wasn't with the wall. Woo. The problem was a shifting foundation. Right. Many of us have cracks in our lives. Can I teach you here? Yeah. Many of us got cracks in our lives. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we do. Emotional cracks. Right. We cracked up. Yes, we are. Emotionally charged. Yeah. Woo! Financially charged. Yeah. Ain't no fight no heaven. Relational charges. Y'all yeah. ain't gonna say amen and say I was one. Yeah. But we address the symptom. How many know we got all the symptoms? And we address the symptoms, don't we? Yes. But not the source. Of the problem. Yeah. You got to get to the root of the problem. Yeah. There you go, find out. Stop putting band aids on something that needs stitches. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. What are you working on? You know your life is stuff. Yeah. You know you got trouble. You got cracked in your concrete. Yeah. How many of you are? You need some apostle. You need something to cover the cracks. Yeah. Because why? That's a leak in your house. Yeah. I'm almost there, brother Cat. I'm going to ride out in a minute. The man. Whose house collapsed was not at fault because he built. It wasn't at fault because he failed to labor. He worked just as hard as the man that built his house on the concrete. But because he did not lay the proper foundation. How many know shifting sand represents human opinions and the doctrine of man as opposed to these sand? To hear what Jesus teaches and not to respond is a foolish building. A house with no thought of a foundation. Yeah. Oh my God. Ask him one more time to neighbor what you're standing on. Yeah. They ain't got no help now. How many know that Jesus give us this illustration? Well. And he tells you if you build on the right thing, yeah. you're going to be able to stand. Yeah. And how many know he used nature itself? Yeah. When the wind blows, yeah. when the storm rages, yeah. 
when the hell falls. Right. How many know you're going to be standing? Yeah. Woo! How many know you can stand today with Christ? Yeah, yeah. And just say, God brought me through yeah. some difficult times. Yeah. Trouble was all around me. Yeah. I'm reminded, Sister Teresa, of an old song. And the song says, I know the rock. Woo! The earth is shaking. Yeah. It's like a bad dream. Right. Woo! This world is crawling. Right. Yeah. Coming apart at the sea. Yeah. But I am on a rock. Yeah. Hey, you got no help this time. Everywhere I'm turning is only bad news. Yeah. This fog is ticking. And we're getting to the end of the fuse. But I'm on a rock. I'm on the rock, the sheer foundation. Though the wind blow, though the flood may grow, I should not be moved. Because I'm on the rock. The storm is approaching. I'm standing high. And I'm standing dry. Finally planted on the rock. Because he is a 